anyway, without further ado, let us look at our cryptid. All right, so this is a creature that was washed up on San, San Roque Lake in Argentina. A uh, really weird looking thing. Yeah, you know, looking at it at first, it kind of reminiscent of like a, I don't know if y'all are familiar with like a gulper eel that lived down in the abyssal zone with their big giant mouths and weirdness. Um, so now, of course, with all credit reports, the, the location and uh, and all that is, well, I guess if you found it in the, in the newspaper, I did find this in newspapers, I did look up some newspaper reports on it. And it's just a, uh, it's not a, a natural lake. It's a, a dammed lake, which we have a lot of around here too. So it's it's uh, kind of a weird looking creature. This lake's, uh, you know, pretty temperate. So it's not like a tropical environment. So looking at this and people were suggesting it's an eel or, uh, I actually thought, and let me show you here. I actually thought that it was Oh uh, yeah, this is the this is the lake. That's where it's located in South America. I actually thought that it might be a Nodomycin tridigener, and that is a hagfish. Uh, really, uh, you, uh, the reason I thought it was that might have been this is because this hagfish is really unique to this uh, the Argentine coast, and it matches the color because most hagfish have a kind of pinkish, like pig pig like color, and this one. This one is actually kind of gray. There are other uh, hagfish that are gray too. Hagfish are pretty diverse, but this one is the only one in its genus. But the problem is, is it, first of all, that it lives in the ocean. But uh, again, like uh, knowing location is, is always uh, is always questionable, and or if it came from the location it was found. And people have boats that they'll take from lake to uh, to the sea, and if they had you know something in their cooler. Uh, a hagfish that they, they trawled up or something and had it in their cooler. They might have dumped it on the uh, on the beach there uh, when they were putting their boat in. Things like that you gotta you gotta consider. Uh, obviously, it's gonna be have to be something that's, that's that's regionally close. But as we we, we note from the uh, from the location of this lake, we're pretty far from the coast, so that didn't seem likely. And plus, do I got a picture of it? I think I do. I think I do. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's a little narrow, a little narrow to be the hagfish, but you see the coloration, the length uh, is about the same for what's reported, and there's the range, you know, right around the coast of the area it was found in, but definitely, <laughs> definitely a, uh, a a a regional species that, that, that could be possible. But there's things about this creature that just don't match up with that. The, mainly the uh, the big swollen area up here, uh, which we can see better when it uh, when you get a little bit closer to it. But uh, let's see, give it a second. There it goes. Okay, so yeah, this this swollen area up there didn't really match the hagfish. I mean, you could say, well, what if it you know had an infection in its gills or something that caused it to swell? But uh, I'm not going to play what ifs on this because I think I found our culprit. And you guys can tell me if uh, if you're with me on that. This is not our culprit, though. Just to, just to be clear, this is uh, was my first guess, and I went down this rabbit hole and looked into it. And no, I'm really gonna go with uh, with the uh, Asian swamp eel because they are invasive. They've uh, been found in multiple bodies of water. Yeah, Nate, <laughs> hate when they get swollen like that. They've been found in multiple bodies of water. They are, yeah, they're invasive and they survive in all kinds of different environments. And check this out too. There we go. Okay. So if you look, the angle of this picture, and that was one of the things about it too, is they're like, oh yeah, it didn't have any eyes and all these, uh, all these wild claims uh, about the creature. But I think you're looking at it wrong. I think the face, this is this section down here. There's an eye. Here's the, the head and the, the mouth. Uh, it's all down here. And this swollen area is the is the, the neck area right here. So this is what I'm, I'm I'm very very confident that this is this is what we're looking at here. All right. So I think that that's that that's 
monster solved, right? Seeing these things pop up like this, uh, you know, they, they do. It's, it's people not knowing what they're looking at and it, it's an invasive species, it's not native. It makes sense that, that people, when they see it, would be, would be freaked out and take pictures of it and report it and that people would have a hard time IDing it too. But uh, these suckers are, are terribly invasive. The Everglades is kind of getting overrun with them, and they survive in in these swampy habitats, and uh, they they do pretty well. So it doesn't surprise me at all that one would pop up on a lake in South America. It's only a matter of time.